Welcome back to Reading with Hannah, and we're going to continue Enemy Pie. I climbed up, I climbed up ahead of him and tore the enemy list off the wall. I had a checkerboard and some cards in the treehouse, and we played games until my dad called us down for dinner. We pretended he didn't hear him, and when he came out to get us, we tried to hide from him, but somehow he found us. Dad made us some macaroni and cheese for dinner, my favorite. It was Jeremy's favorite, too. Maybe Jeremy Rose wasn't so bad after all. I was beginning to think that maybe we should just forget about enemy pie. But sure enough, after dinner, Dad brought out the pie. I watched as he cut the pie into eight thick slices. Dad, I said, it sure is nice having a new friend in the neighborhood. I was trying to get his attention, trying to tell him that Jeremy Rose was no longer my enemy. But Dad only smiled and nodded. I think he thought I was just pretending. Dad dished up three plates side by side with big pieces of pie and giant scoops of ice cream. He passed one to me and one to Jeremy. Wow, Jeremy said, looking at the pie. My dad never makes pies like this. It was at the point that I panicked. I didn't want Jeremy to eat enemy pie. He was my friend. I couldn't let him eat it. Bye. Thank you for reading this. Join us tomorrow. Welcome to Reading with Hannah. We are continuing Enemy Pie. Jeremy, don't eat it. It's bad pie. I think it's poisonous or something. Jeremy's fork stopped before reaching his mouth. He crumpled his eyebrows and looked at me funny. I felt relieved. I had saved his life. I was a hero. If it's so bad, Jeremy asked, then why has your dad already eaten half of it? I turned to look at my dad. Sure enough, he was eating enemy pie. Good stuff, he mumbled through a mouthful. And that was all he said. I sat there watching him eat enemy pie for a few seconds. Dad was laughing. Jeremy was happily eating, and neither of them was losing any hair. It seemed safe enough, so I took a tiny taste. Enemy pie was delicious. After dessert, Jeremy rode his bike home, but not before inviting me over to play on his trampoline in the morning. He said he'd teach me how to flip. As for enemy pie, I still don't know how it, to make it. I still wonder if enemies really do hate it, or if their hair falls out, or their breath turns bad. But I don't know if I'll ever get an answer, because... I just lost my best enemy. Bye. Thank you for reading Enemy Pie. Welcome back for more Enemy Pie. <clears throat> I went in to ask Dad what was wrong. Enemy Pie shouldn't smell this good, but Dad was smart. If Enemy Pie smelled bad, your enemy would never eat it, he said. I could tell he made Enemy Pie before. The buzzer rang, and Dad put on the oven mitts and pulled out a pie out of the oven. It looked like plain old pie. It looked good enough to eat. I was catching on. But still, I wasn't really sure how this enemy pie worked. What exactly did it do to enemies? Maybe it would it made their hair fall out or their breath stinky. Maybe it made bullies cry. I asked Dad, but he was no help. He didn't tell me a thing. But while the pie cooled, I filled, he filled me in on my job. He talked quietly. There, was, there is one part of enemy pie that I can't do. In order for it to work, you need to spend a day with your enemy. Even worse, I have to be nice to him. It's not easy, but that's the only way that enemy pie can work. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Of course I was. It sounded horrible. It was scary. But it was worth the try. All I had to do was spend one day with Jeremy Rose. Then he'd be out of my hair for the rest of my life. I rode my bike to his house and knocked on the door. When Jeremy opened the door, he seemed surprised. He stood on the other side of the screen door and looked at me, waiting for me to say something. I was nervous. Can you play? I asked. He looked confused. I'll go ask my mom. 
he said. He came back with his shoes in his hand. His mom walked around the corner to say hello. You boys stay out of trouble, she said, smiling. We rode our bikes for a while and played on the trampoline. Then we made some water balloons and threw them at the neighbor's neighbor girls. But we missed. Jeremy's mom made us lunch. After lunch, we went over to my house. Bye! Thank you for joining me with reading Enemy Pie.